Hello and welcome to another episode of Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Jalindo, and today we're playing more FTL. So we have jumped into a slug nebula, which means I'm going to try to hit every single one of these nebula that I can without getting caught by the rebel fleet. I'm probably not going to go up this way because if you look at that, it's going to lead me into this kind of almost, you know, non... It's going to lead me into a non-nebula area, and then I'll have to jump in there and jump back. That's going to lose us some time. So instead, I'm going to go here, 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 and... Probably want to go. Hmm, it's not ideal. Probably want to go around the circle and then try to double back this way and then come in to the exit from the north. Let's see if I have enough time to do that. I do have a, a instant, an instant attack here, so I'll go ahead and do that. And we'll get started. All right. You're surprised to find a ship without slug markings stranded all the way out here and move in to provide necessary assistance. Ooh, provide assistance. When you see the pirate insignia on the hull, you quickly reconsider. Attack or keep your distance. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Attack. More scrap. Pirates are bad. We're good. You know, typical stuff. Looks like I got a flat cannon up there. And is that a laser, I suppose? Heavy laser, I think. Okay, that's gonna allow us to take those down those pretty pretty good. Yes! Take everything we have and let's both forget this happened. Except this except their offer three fuel, two missiles, and twenty one scrap. Sure. We accept your offer of, of surrender. Ninety one scrap, do we wanna do anything else with that? Urgh. Engines would be good. I'm glad we got three layers of shields, that's been very helpful. Let's hold on to it for now. Ooh, there's a store. Let's let's go up here and then hit the store. Either this part of slug space is deserted or it's too dense for even slugs to detect your presence. Time to move. I can't remember if the long range scanner always shows if there's anything there or if it only shows if there's danger there. I can't remember. You cautiously approach a slug colony on a huge asteroid. It's a brave person who sets foot on the slug planet. It can take weeks to get the mucus out of your clothes, but there's business to be done. All right. Repair. Can get some slug crew members, a human crew member. We do need another crew member pretty badly. Clone bay, drone control. Drone control would be nice, but we don't have any good drones yet, do we? We have system repair bot. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about drone control. Chain ion. That's actually really nice. I hate buying... I really do hate buying weapons, though, because you stumble upon them so so frequently in this game. I don't think I'm going to do it. I, I really like ion cannons, though. Hmm. Yep, let's skip it for now. Still wishing I had a scrap recovery arm. That would make this... I'd be swimming in scrap right now. It would be awesome. I think we're going to go here and then head south. The Mantis attack ship here looks to have been hunting slugs on their home turf. A rare test of honor for the mightiest Mantis crews. Weapons up. Alright. So let's take out, as always, shields and weapons. And then hold back our heavy lasers to take out whatever's left. Oh, they have teleported to our ship. Where are they? They're right here. So let's go ahead and ventilate. We can ventilate this entire section because we, we lost Zemu. Go ahead and cause them a lot of trouble. Or keep those closed so by the time they get out, all the oxygen in the surrounding rooms will be, will be gone. Oh, we missed. Let's see if we can take out those shields while the shields are temporarily down. Oh, miss and hit the shields. Oh, that's painful. Try again. What are they attacking? They're attacking my sensors. Yes, that's that's fine. No problem. Did I get them off in time? No, two misses. This has not been good. Yes. Perfect. Now we're good. Just attack whatever now. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. We got two fuel, 
one drone part and 34 scrap. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna open everything, then close the doors around Ohm here so it doesn't suck up all the oxygen. And let's get our oxygen levels back up. Take away one from engines, put one on oxygen. That'll speed this up a little bit. And then after that, we're gonna leave. See what else we can upgrade here. I don't really wanna upgrade engines yet. I don't feel like it's time for that. Would help dodge some more stuff. Hmm. We got such good shields right now, it's almost a waste. I feel like. We can upgrade sensors or autopilot or get better doors. Kinda wanna get better doors. Let's hold on to it for now. We don't have anything urgently in need. Let's go ahead and jump. Jump south. It will east, I guess. Okay, on the map, <laughs> on the map of space, jump southeast. The slugs here use a tactic that you hope they you'd never see. They use a remote hacking satellite to sabotage your oxygen production system and then charge fire weapons. You're going to suffocate. So we have improved oxygen, so we can try to squeeze some extra power to the system, and we'll do that. Thankfully, your improved subsystem is able to counter their hacking enough to keep the life supporting barely functioning. Uh, that should keep you alive at least. So let's pause that and we're gonna take down their shields and their weapons. Big mystery, right? I'm gonna shoot my lasers. Pew pew. Boom boom boom. The slug ship breaks apart and your systems return to normal. You collect what you can. Three fuel, two missiles, and 49 scrap. I will take it. Now I think would be a good time to possibly update, upgrade some of the stuff. Let's, let's go ahead and get our subsystems up all the way. Those are useful. And they don't take extra power, so they're kind of cheap to upgrade. And let's keep going around the circle of nebula. There are a few more there are a few more vicious beasts in the galaxy than a slug with his back to the wall. The faltering ship armed with fire weapons uses a remote hacking tool to try and disable your door system. They're gonna burn it burn you out. No, they're not. So we can't control doors, we don't have sensors. Let's take out their shields and weapons. Looks like they got some fire weapons. Iron cannon and a fire fire thingy bumper here. And after that, let's attack there and there. Boop, perfect. Let's take out everything's left now. The slug ship breaks apart and your system returns to normal. You collect what you can. One missile, one drone part, 36 scrap. We'll take it. And we're gonna keep going around. We're gonna hit here, here, and just keep going through the nebula. Hopefully we can get most of these hit in time. There are a number of small stations for travelers in the area. It, it uh, lit up by guiding lights and advertisements. Only slug ships are docked, so you decide it's better to avoid confrontation and steer clear. So we'll go here next. Direct attacks are not preferred by slugs. But of the three you see at this beacon, one has the brass to so make a move on your position. All right. Take them down just like we took down the last guy. He has some pretty nice weapons on that, sh on that uh, ship. Uh, yep, attack there, attack there. Pretty tough ship he's got there. You have bested us. Will you accept what is in our stores in exchange for your lives? Sure. Here, we have lots of fuel. Take it all. Five fuel. Oh, we needed that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, this is going to go up one to here. And another jump. It'll be here. Another jump. I think we can make it around. Not to every one of those stars, but we'll make it to most of them. Your sensors have picked up a refugee slip uh, ship. Drifting through the system, no doubt one of many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it's trying to avoid notice. Sure, held him. Turns out it's a pirate ship, of course. Or the uh, pirate ship was using the refugee ship as bait. Let's hope we can protect the refugees, and maybe they'll do something nice for us. 
Take out those and those. As always, typical attack strategy. They got a flat cannon, two lasers. Uh, I guess that's a heavy laser and a burst laser. Ah, missed twice on the shields. That's painful. Try again. Miss again. Wow. Miss, miss. That was just bad timing on my part. Nice. Pirate ship breaks apart. We get three fuel, one drone part, 37 scrap. Contact the refugee ship. The refugee ship thanks you for your assistance. As a gesture of goodwill and seeing how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship, they offer up what supplies they can spare. Three fuel, one drone part, and 24 scrap. Awesome. Still need more crew. So I'm not going to spend all our money yet. All our scrap, excuse me. Not money, scrap. So here, here, I should be able to make it. Uh, do I want to risk it though? I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to just go start heading for the exit now. Just in case. You arrive at the, uh, to the site of two slug ships in communication range. They don't see you. Tap their comm frequency. You overhear their conversation learn they're planning to raid an infamous and likely wealthy pirate ship in the area. The pair jump off and you note down their target coordinates. So where is that? Ah, it's up here. Perfect. Let's take down the pirate ship. You catch up with the two slug ships and they're already carrying out their raid. One is in close combat with the pirate. The other seems to be heading for a small space cache the pirate was protecting. Suddenly the first ship bursts into flames and an urgent call arrives from the remaining slugs. We suggest you distract the pirate vessel while we retrieve the valuables. 50-50 split. I'm going to head for the cache. Because I don't think I can trust these slugs. When he sees you making for the cache, the slug captain hails... Foolish aliens, no eye for profit. Best of luck to you. They jump off, leaving you toe-to-toe -to -toe with the pirate. That's fine with me. We'll take down this pirate. All on our own. Nice. Now he's pretty much completely vulnerable. I'll take it. That went so hard. With the pirate taken care of, you search again for the cash he was protecting, but it's lost in the clouds. You console yourself with the salvage from the well-armed pirate ship. Two missiles, one drone part, and 26 scrap. We'll take it. Not a problem. You find a slug vessel broadcasting the distress signal and contact them. Ah, yes, we are having problems with our oxygen generation unit. Perhaps your crew can assist us with repairs. Yes, we'll send some crew to help, and I'm hoping this will not turn out horribly. Of course. As soon as you board their ship, their hostile intentions become clear. On the way back to the airlock, one of your crew members is taken out by a well-aimed slug blaster shot. Of course. Now we lost our pilot. This is awful. Alright, we'll send Ohm up there, I guess. This has just got bad. have Brecken repair the shields. Getting distracted here by everything going on. You bested us. Will you accept what is in our stores in exchange for our lives? You took out my captain. I gotta, I, I'll let them live. They transfer a meager amount of material there. Now keep your word. One missile, one drone part, 21 scrap. Minis. So we only have one person left from our original crew. We only have two crew members left in our ship. Not going well at all. Haven't had a lot of good events happen. Sometimes you, you play this game, you have one good event after another. Sometimes you play this game, you have no good events happen the whole game, and it's kind of a pain. This beacon seems to serve as a meeting place for local traffic. It seems you can find crew willing to fight for your sh on your ship here for a price. So, Shelton... Hire crew member Shelton or hire crew member Walker. 
I'm gonna go with Shelton. He's cheaper, and he learns fast being a human and all. He's good at repairing. Let's put him on, well, Gotta keep him on weapons. He can be on what a crystal guy can be on whatever he wants. I think it's appropriate for him to be up here because, or back here in the engines, one or the other. And then Shelton can be on the engines back here, I suppose. Next, we'll go to the next sector. Well, that was a horrible, horrible, horrible sector. The Zoltan patrol your, their borders, but let you pass when your UID is Federation. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. All right, so that's we're through that sector. Uh, this, this playthrough is not going so well. Random chance has has really bitten us this time. So, yep. Hope we can keep going. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate your view. Thank you for watching, and remember. <laughs> thank you for watching, and remember. <laughs> keep it clean. <laughs>